Some studies have suggested being overweight or obese may be a benign condition if a person doesn't have problems like high cholesterol, blood pressure, or diabetes. Now new research finds being healthy and overweight is just a myth. We're a nation and a people that no matter how we want to deny it, we live and make decisions every day based on optics. How somebody looks changes our perception of them drastically. And the biggest part of that consideration, usually body weight. A lot of numbers and studies telling us how dangerous it is to be overweight. But there are those who would like to hit the pause button there for a moment and consider that a few extra pounds might be a good thing. Our guest is professor of magazine journalism at the SI Newhouse School of Public Communications at Syracuse University, also author of the book Body of Truth, How Science, History, and Culture Drive Our Obsession with Weight and What We Can Do About It, Harriet Brown. Harriet, pleasure to have you on the show. Pleasure to be here. Let's talk right about that because you've written an article that says the obesity crisis is a myth, but this comes as we hear that kids are heavier than ever, that kids are developing diabetes more than ever, and that we are an obese nation. All right, Harriet, make some sense of it all and put those two together. Well, uh, Americans did get heavier during a period between about 1980 and 2000. Um, that rise has stopped, plateaued. We are not continuing to get heavier, and we don't really know all the reasons why we got heavier, uh, but we do know that a lot of the efforts to kind of curb that, put people on diets, you know, uh, be very restrictive about things like that, tend to backfire, which may in fact be one reason why we are heavier. Laura, now let me go ahead and throw a couple things in here then to that when we talk about getting heavier. A tremendous amount of junk food that is so easily available to us at cheap prices, like a buck, buck and a half or so. We're mm -hmm. eating poorly even at home. And I'm going to go back to the lack of physical education because it used to be in school, at least, I always had to take PE. You don't have to do that anymore. And kids are basically sitting on their butts with Game Boys at this point. I mean, isn't that all part of the reason how we became a heavier society? Uh, I think what that is, is it's part of how we are becoming an, a less healthy society, but whether it's actually driving the rise in our weight seems pretty unlikely. Um, because, and, but I think one of the important things to remember is that it's true for all kids. You know, all kids need more physical activity. All of us could probably eat better. Um, and bodies come in different shapes and sizes. And I think some of our bodies probably respond to poor nutrition, lack of physical activity by getting heavier. Others don't. But the bottom line is we could all do a little better. All right. So, Harriet, I've only got a couple of minutes here. Unfortunately, we've just been told that the president may step up to the podium at the Rose Garden. But I want to make sure that before we let you go, I get, you, I get this in here. What is it that people then need to do in order to at least not be overweight, be healthy, and at least have some concept of, of maybe being average, maybe not trying to drive yourself to being stick thin? I think the key is to separate health from weight. We can all do things that make our health better. Get some activity in your life, activity you enjoy. Eat well. Don't deprive yourself. Eat well. With, if you do those things on a regular basis, you might lose some weight, you might not, but you will be much healthier, and that's really what we're going for. Isn't the basic thing here still just moderation, don't overdo, just try to eat well. Don't, you don't have to be a nut job about it, but at least try right. to take care of yourself and think about it, right? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, there you go. The book is Body of Truth, How Science, History, and Culture Drive Our Obsession with Weight and What We Can Do. Harriet Brown is the author. Harriet, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to come back and address this again at another time because Harriet was supposed to be with us once before. We had a breaking story. Now we have a breaking story.